Hey YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM for the OnePlus One which is Color OS. If you go to the settings menu about phone you can find I am running Color OS version 2.0.81 and then which is based on Android 4.4.2. You can see other details here. Basically talking about this ROM, this is uh, one of my favorite ROM other than the CM uh, XLS ROM and uh, because it's like this, this is ROM is fully packed and it is very stable battery friendly not that much battery friendly but if you are using the full features uh, first of all I'll show you the complete features first of all taking the basic options like this is the dialer you can see the dialer options and you will get the extra options here and there the animation is very smooth and then like giving a good feelings and this is the message app and here is the camera application so camera application is the color OS application it is very neat and you will get all these plugins and all here you can use all these features which is very nice and then you can see the settings as well like video mode 4k video mode is there and then pixels resolution pixel tap shutter timer voice shot so you can say something and then take, take the photo and all it's possible and then the grid shutter sound location all these options are here and besides that flashlight and then front cam video cam other, other cam, camera application so this is the gallery from you can go directly and then other expert modes and many modes and plugins are there comes with this camera application and as a default web browser they are using chrome application and this rom com comes with all the google applications like play store and other google applications you can find all this one so you don't need to flash them separately it will be all comes with this rom and so that's all the basic options and you can see if you tap and hold them you can this is more like a MIUI interface there is no menu drawer so you can see go to widget from here and you can see all the separate widgets, wallpaper, wallpaper, and then effects, and then themes, different themes you can choose from. If you swipe left, you can directly access the music application. And let me go and show you the notification area, here is the notification area, if you simply pull down, it will only show one one row, if you pull down again, you can see the three rows or whatever rows are there, so you can see all the features like bluetooth, sync, lock now, so clicking that will lock, lock it down, and you can see this is the lock screen, and if you swipe in here, you can directly go to the dialer, and then if you swipe in here, you can directly go to the messaging application, swipe up, and it go. So that's about the notification area you can see and uh, NFC flashlight personal offer support airplane mode power saving mode quiet time GPS side uh, this is the Wi-Fi mobile data ring and also it will enter all the application running applications if you want to clear this one just clear tap on done then all the notification will be cleared so it's very neat talk about the settings menu you can see the settings menu airplane mode that one is and then we have personal hotspot that is the thermal hotspot and then this is Wi-Fi direct and then Wi-Fi display this comes with this ROM so you can see it's a lot of, a lot of uh, features here and then next one is the safety and privacy you can do all these complex passwords simple password pattern password many methods of locking devices are there and then notification center you can customize each and every notification for notification status for each and every application you can see hello a notification display on status bar display on lock screen many options are and you can customize for all all the applications all the single applications very fast and then not location access account and sync backup and restart application manager is here default application you can uh, set the default application for each and every operations and then storage you can see the storage details gesture and motion in this gesture and motion you can see many options like double tap to wake up 
so the double tap to wake up option is there don't need to worry about that and then as usual we can draw the O2 close the camera and control the music by the stress and you there is, there is one more thing that you can even add more of screen gestures just like say M so I'm selecting M for opening some application like uh, okay for Gmail I'm taking that M feature so I just copy the key I lock the screen and then draw M so you can see it had identify the M and open my inbox so it's, it's very cool you can customize these many off screen gestures so you just pretty neat and then this is the screen on gestures like a double press home button to customize like if I want to uh, lock the screen by double tapping home button it will lock the screen see so that's about the one first option and there are many screen on gestures are there like activate the camera with multi finger pinch and close with multiple fingers to activate the camera like that so you can directly open the camera from there and then just a screenshot on any screen slide up down three fingers you can see by sliding up or down I can take the screenshot very really neat adjust the volume with the two fingers it's like I can adjust the volume with two fingers this is pretty also neat and then single handed mode so it's like if I swipe like this I can access the single handed mode so I can use the phone with single hand in small area so these are the screen on gestures which are very neat and very clean next one is smart dialer application easy dialer these are the smart dialer application all the features are very cool features and this is the air gesture it's like I can use just air like photo slide page slide trying to describe the contacts and so I click let's see I can even uh, launch between the pages without even touching the sc screen you can see and if you are in the photos application and if you select one photo if you want to navigate the other you can see that you can simply swipe uh, this is called air gesture this is firstly introduced in Samsung devices and all so this feature is very also cool so that's about the air gesture and prevent image suppression option as there and then voice wake up so it's about the voice wake up if I say hey snapdragon it will turn on without even touching the screen so I'll, I'll do a demo now so I'm screen is off and I'm saying hello snapdragon hello snapdragon sorry for that I got a call in the between so now I will try again hello snapdragon so you can see it's turning on the Google Chrome directly so that's about the voice wake up option which is even pretty cool it's like um, an option in Moto G and all so next one is battery manager here is you can see the normal battery saving settings and you can see also se select the which settings you need to do like disable animation undercooking the CPU and all so that's about the normal power saving and here is a super power saving op option and then you can also automatically activate when power is a bit low and then battery reminder and you can see the battery consumption details here so that's about the battery and here is the date and time language and input if you look at the language I'll show all the supported language here it's supporting a bit good language and in the dictionary you can see there are two options like one is the Google keyboard and you can also use for the swipe keyboard so two keyboard options are there I click on more you can see from here you can see the about phone from here you can look for check for the system updates and in more option you can see factory reset settings and then switch partitions if you have there is no SD card in Oppo so no need to check that and then printer option accessibility timing power and all and you can check time to turn on and off the phone automatically and here is a sim card toolkit nothing is there and the post after sales it doesn't mean anything so that's about the general setting and if you this is the sound setting like volume and mode vibrate and here is the max audio 
you can see the difference actually even the even using this phone speaker you can see the actual effect it's really nice nice good feeling and then here is the other options and here is the display options like the brightness wallpaper and screen lock and sleep auto rotate screen battery percentage if you want to see the battery first and click on that one if you don't want to see the carrier info i can remove that one eye protection display is there So you can see the eye, eye protection display if you are reading this device at, ni at night and all. So nice. That is one is the AC light, key light, this is the key light, daydream, fonts, again selling change. So that's about the settings menu. Now if you look at the other applications coming coming with this ROM. Okay, before that, if you swipe left, I can easily go to the music application you can see you can even listen the beat and you can directly go to the dialog from here and then click on here it will open the music option the music itself is very nice I, by swiping right swiping left I can see the music here clicking here also you can see the music I'm swiping swiping here I'm clicking here it will get extra settings and all also set as the ringtone directly so it's very neat and then awesome music player you can see the music player application here as well so that's about the music and and these are the google applications I'm coming with this home and theme store from here you can download themes and you can set, set other themes here is windmill theme so you can see it's changed, the theme is changed. And then contacts application, calendar, clock, weather, keep, video, photos. This is the photo. Backup and restore. Lock now by typing it. It will lock it. Files, you can see the file manager here. It will be like classified, class, uh, categorized. It's good. And then you can see the other options here. Settings, calculator near my cloud, security center. So the, these are the many options you will get in the security center. Tools, all these flash days, sound recorder, compass, download manager, King Office and system updates, root explorer is there, rebooter is there. By clicking into all, open these options. And this one also comes with the exports in starter so you can install whatever modules you want to install that's pretty neat so that's all about this ROM I, I really like the ROM because it's like fully featured many customization options and even giving better battery so if you would like to try anything other than this normal Android experience just go for this ROM it'll worth it thanks for watching if you want to know how to install this ROM there's a link in the description to show you that let's go and check it out that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.